The gentlelady from Texas is recognized for five minutes in support of her amendment. Thank you very much. I see that I have my good friend, Mr. Pallone, on, over on this side, and I thought I would have my good friend from South Carolina, but now I have my good friend from Texas who is here, and I'm sure they understand that everybody who comes to the floor is sincere. The gentlelady from New York and others that have offered their amendments, they are sincere, they are factual, they have knowledge. And I just want to put that into the record so that no one's integrity is challenged. I am sincere, uh, and I believe that uh, we need to have a little history lesson as to what the uh, Strategic Petroleum Reserve is all about. It exists first and foremost as an emergency response tool that the President can use should the United States be confronted with an economically threatened disruption in oil supplies. Uh, it is also where oil can be released from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve under exchange arrangements similar to loans with private companies. Exchange contracts provide for a loan of crude oil to be repaid in kind within the certain, uh, within a certain uh, time frame and with additional petroleum barrels. However, as we move toward uh, and increasing respect for climate change, uh, I think amendments have to be in place that strategically allow for the utilization of this reserve uh, to uh, decrease emissions, uh, to provide relief in emergencies, and to understand that we must have a 21st century strategic petroleum reserve. Let me cite for you when this reserve has been used. 2005 Hurricane Katrina, sale, 1991 Operation Desert Storm, 1990 Desert Storm Shield Test, 2006 Ship Channel Closure Exchange, 2006 Barge Accident Exchange, 2005 Hurricane Katrina Exchange, 2000 Heating Oil Exchange. Again, it is doing what it's supposed to do. At the same time, I believe it's important to modernize the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. I have a very simple amendment, and my amendment would preserve exchanges that occur uh, and protect the nation from gasoline shortages and likely much higher fuel prices following natural disasters. We have had many, and I cannot for the life of me understand the opposition to what President Biden did, where we have heard complete silence about high gasoline prices. And so it is important in Amendment Number 35 uh, that we have the ability to help those desperately suffering from natural disasters that certainly occur in the Gulf, but they also occur on the Atlantic, they occur in the Pacific, and we need to be able to help the American people. I ask my colleagues to support Jackson Lee Amendment Number 36, 35, uh, that would preserve exchanges that occur to protect the nation from gasoline shortages in the likely face of the terrible natural disasters that have hit our American citizens or our country in various reasons. With that, I reserve.